but this is an auntie mm. who trains you how to perform in bed. Wow. I mean, <laughs> okay. It's not so, about so it's like us Kenyans who are submissive. Kenyans are. But you <laughs> Kenyan. If you are Kenyan, by the way, leave a comment there. Look Kenyans. at how can I be able to be not submissive? Number one, we are taught how to satisfy a man in bed. No uh, one goes with no say. Uh, uh, you're offending us. You're offending. Yeah. Yeah. A bunch of Kenyan comment there. I, I, I know it's a touchy topic. I know it's a touchy topic. But I am. You're I'm, offending I stand... us. How are you in our country? We are yeah, so. Hey guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, you are so much welcome. Do not forget to subscribe. If you are a new subscriber, don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Yes, in today's video, we have a guest. Introduce yourself. How are you? I'm fine, guys. Welcome to Alice's channel. My name is Stephanie. It's a pleasure being here, and I thank God so far for this moment. Thank you so much. Proud of you and the good work you put. Anytime. Welcome. Yes, yeah, so let's go straight to the, today's topic. Oh, by the way, I haven't thanked my existing subscribers. Let wow. me tell you, these guys are my diehard. I know. They have been so supportive. Yes. Uh, I have people who are always watching my content. Wow. Everything I put up here, you guys watch. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, please keep watching. And for this specific video, watch until the end because it is super, super interesting. Uh, so, uh, Stefan, yes, I want to ask you something. Yeah. And I'm very sure that so many people out there, Kenyans, Kenyan women or Kenyan men are asking about themselves or they keep asking about Ugandan women. So our topic today is Kenyan women versus Ugandan women. I have, uh, I have always, I've been interacting with men here in Kenya and uh, I've realized that most of them, they love Ugandan women. What's so special about you guys? Tell us. <laughs> okay, Ugandan women, mm. um, I'd like to thank God for that credit mm. that they give the Ugandan women. Ugandan women are submissive. Ah, okay. It's not so, about... So it's like us Kenyans who are submissive. Kenyans really? are, but you see... Kenyan. Now, if uh, you are Kenyan, by the way, leave a comment there. Look Kenyan. at how can I can be at you, not submissive. No, Kenyan women are submissive. Okay. But when it comes to top scoring, mm. Ugandan women are good. Number wow. one, mm. we are submissive. Mm. And it goes back to how we are being brought up. Mm. And uh, having shared the same background with Kenyan and women, I will mm. say our upbringing as women in Uganda is so different. Uh, if you may have heard of the bush talk. Yeah. Bush talk, <laughs> bush talk, bush talk. Okay, I will try to go deeper. I don't okay. know the about bush the bush talk. The bush talk is mm. more of the adolescent period okay. whereby when we reach a certain age okay. as girls mm. we were taken by our paternal aunties mm. to be taught about your body your mm. sexuality your roles as a woman mm. your roles as a girl what mm. you're supposed to do how mm. you're supposed to treat your man how you're supposed to treat this so you find it comes at a very young age we are yeah. being set, we are mm. being trained, we are mm. being empowered. Mm. So you find a whole woman is just like a rotating machine. Mm. But the basic part of this is that a woman is this fragile part. A woman mm. is supposed to do this. A woman mm. is supposed to do this. Mm. There are certain things when we try doing as Ugandan women in Kenya, people mm. find it odd. Yeah. Number one is like kneeling down. I found issues with people. Mm. I find myself kneeling down Aww. on my seniors. <laughs> If you are my okay. senior and I know you are this older than me, because it comes mm. natural. Mm. Or if I meet a person for the first, second time, normally I have that issue of kneeling. Okay, I may not go really down, okay. but Salako, the, the small kneeling part of it. Okay, talking about kneeling down, um, I think that is it one of the reasons why Kenyan men love Ugandan women. I wouldn't say the kneeling part is more of a Kenyan man loving yeah. a Ugandan woman, yeah. but I would say this is something that has been put in us. Mm. And mind you, not all Ugandan women kneel down because we are a versatile culture. Uh -huh. The Banyanko, they don't kneel. Okay. It's the Baru, the Northerners. Yeah. So you find that mm. most of the time, people think it's a whole thing, eh? okay. but we have tribes that don't. The Vashigas don't. Let me say the Westerners don't kneel down. Let's have a conversation in the comment section. Tell me if 
if you are a Kenyan woman, would you kneel for your man? Leave that in the comment section. Okay, so tell us more about Ugandan women. What else uh, is special about you guys? Number one, we are being taught how to handle a man in bed. Ah, oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh -huh. Remember, I told you that sex education in Uganda starts when puberty starts. Wow. So it's at this point we go to see our singers. Mm -hmm. Our singers will be like the aunties, the shangas is in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So you find the aunties that we have, the singers, mm -hmm. we call them singer wing, wing so, yeah? Sing, singer wing, wing songa. songa. Okay. I don't know how to break it so much in English, but I love the way our African tribe bring big words that even if you bring in English, it looks mm -hmm. small. Mm -hmm. But this is an auntie. Who mm. trains you how to perform in bed? Wow. As in what? <laughs> okay, guys. Number, <laughs> number mean, one, um, how to you know there are these simple things that people take for granted. Okay. But it's the same things that runs the bed. Okay. okay. Number one, we are taught how to satisfy a man in bed. No uh, one goes with no C. Uh -huh. You're finding us. You're no, finding no. a book for a Kenyan comment there. You're I, finding I know it's a touchy topic. I know it's a touchy topic. But I am um, um, finding I stand... us how do you in our country say we are eh, so I hey, stand to oh be corrected. God. Okay. But this is something I've also gone through. So I'm not mm. going to say what I haven't gone through. Mm. So sex education mm. is just like this is the part you're supposed to do. Okay. That's why it's even within the Buganda kingdom, mm -hmm. the Buganda itself, the, 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 the royals, yes. they have what is called the Tsakate. Mm. So here's where you're going to train, even how to peel matoke, even mm. how to put it in a orulagala. Mm. You put it on the, the chocho. Fibers, yes. yes, you mm. put it and it stings. So you find, mm. I'm taught how to satisfy a man and also how to make a man satisfy me. So it's not all about that I'm supposed to do for a man by ABCD. Even this man has his koja or his uncle okay. who is taught how to make me feel satisfied. <laughs> Guys, this is so interesting. By the way, it is so interesting. Yeah. Uh, but, um, you know, so that could be one of the reasons why our Kenyan men are so interested in, uh, in your Ugandan women. <laughs> okay. Personally, okay. I'm going to be two-sided. Mm. I know Kenyan women who are mm. good. I mm. may not say they're good in bed because I'm not a lesbian, but okay. I know they are good. Mm. They also share the experiences of what they are taught. Mm. And there are those ones who are just blue. I don't think we have that in Kenya, whereby our aunties are... Yeah, they don't have the sex aunties. The sex aunties, mm -hmm. whereby they tell you yeah, yeah. Uh, if how to attract a man in mm -hmm. bed, how to do this, how no. to do this, how to seduce a man, how to mm -hmm. ABCD. No. I don't think we have that in Kenya. Do we really have that? And uh, which tribe, if you are if you are any tribe and you guys do that, can you leave that? Can you have a conversation in the comment section? Tell us. And if you guys do that, how do you how do your aunties do it? And what are some of the things that are being told by you guys? Or maybe there's someone who's going to read your comment and will be able to also know yeah. more about the Kenyan culture. Huh? Yeah, yeah. The Kenyan culture. <laughs> okay, so Nerea, yes. I think I'm just I'm loving this this conversation. Thank you. I'm loving this conversation. So um you talked about respect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You talked about submissiveness. Uh, submissiveness. Yeah. Uh, you talked about uh Kenyan uh, uh sorry, uh being good in bed. Mm -hmm. Um, is there any other thing that you feel that um, is one of the reasons why these this thing and then are with a, like they are so much in love with the, with the Ugandan women? Yeah, because me, I have always said, uh, me, I believe that uh, I think it depends on someone, yeah. Um, like for us, mm -hmm. Kenyan, Kenyan uh, women, mm -hmm. um, we don't kneel for. We don't kneel here, like in here, here. We don't kneel for men because we feel it's 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 weird. It's weird. How can I kneel for someone? Like how? How can I kneel for someone? And you also talked about the only thing that I'm really I really want to know more about is, and I I don't know that part of being good 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 in bed. I didn't understand that part because I know um, that. Uh, for as long as we're a woman, okay, I yeah. won't say all women are good, mm -hmm. and I won't say all men are good, mm -hmm. but uh, what I normally feel is that 
at a hundred percent or not not even a hundred ninety nine percent it depends on two people yeah uh a man and a, a man and uh a man and a, I was going to say a man and a man. Wow. A man and a woman. <laughs> um, okay, for me, I feel like, personally, I feel like uh, that bed, being good in bed, part of it, I think it's a communication that both of you have to do well, yeah. well in, in, in your bedroom. Yes, yes. I won't say, yeah, but in your bedroom. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereby if there is a way you want me to do things, you'll have to tell me mm-hmm. and there's the way i want you to do things the way i enjoy them mm-hmm. or the way i enjoy it i'll have to tell you mm-hmm. not so yes um, but I, i'm not i'm not accepting that part of it G- I, I, give I me know, more give I, me more. I know it's a touchy topic yeah. and uh i know the comment section could be blowing up by right now okay but le- 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 let's look at things differently mm-hmm. i'm not saying kenyan women are bad in bed okay but there are those spices, those mm. tricks, mm. those buttons mm. that we were taught. If you mm. do A, B, C, D, mm. this is how it's going to sustain your marriage. But it doesn't mean that if I do the A, B, C, Ds and I'm a Uganda woman, this man may not cheat. He may cheat and I'm doing everything. Exactly. I could be doing it in the marketing style. Yeah. But he's still going outside. So mm. it means maybe there's a part in other things that are not being right. Yeah. Okay, marriage is not more of uh, the sex part of it. But it's, sex is, is one of the things is that the keep, cement. keep a marriage. It's the no? cement. Okay, it is not part of it, but sex is one of the things that keep marriage going. Okay. It's like the drill or the cement foundation for yeah. Yes. So here's what I look at. Mm. Uh, growing up, we used to hear words. I don't know how to put it in English. Mm. But uh, I'll try and, try and bring it closer to my little understanding. Mm. And for those watching this from Uganda, I'll stand to be corrected. Yeah. Number one, I remember, like, when I first came to Kenya, people were telling me, do you do kachabali? So it took me time to understand. Does it mean <laughs> anyone coming from Kenya, you Uganda, can do eh. kachabali? Eh. No, you guys are getting information the other way around. Okay. Uh, you find someone will tell you, me, I'm always dry. Mm. Me, I'm always this, I'm this, I'm that. Mm. Not forgetting, even for sex to be good, or when you're making love to be good, there are foods you have to eat, there are foods you have to do, and have mm. it in your diet okay so it's a two-way traffic i can't justify a man mm. who is not even helping to enhance his sexuality ah okay so i can't put all the energy mm. i'm doing this i was told eat this i'm doing kegels i'm doing exercises i'm doing this but when it comes to your side you're just giving me the other way around because i can't give you everything my aunt taught me and then you're giving me a tithe yeah. of all my energy mm. so i'd prefer mm. if i'm very good on this and this is what i'm supposed to feed my man mm. fine explore and i've always said it's not about buying enhancements even mm. the fruits we eat mm. some of them scientifically have been proven if you enhance them in your diet mm. they help you okay here's a scenario mm. why should someone say i want kachabali from you mm. personally i may not be doing the kachabali i can't mm. oh guys kachabali squatting I can't be squatting. Maybe I'm not a squatter. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'm a creamer. You yeah, know that, those that, things. I, I mean, not so is, because is, I come from Uganda. I can't. Depend, does that depend on the on someone? Yeah, or? it is someone's thing. Because me, I know friends who told me. I wonder if someone tells me, "Do you do kachabali?" And then I go like, "Excuse me." So I'm also part of the excuse me wow. group. Okay, <laughs> as we are summarizing, because I don't want this topic to be so long. Yeah. Uh, my question is. Yes. Uh, for someone who is watching out there and maybe they feel like it's because for this specific sex part of it mm-hmm. and maybe they feel like maybe it's because of that that they're not able to last with their partners mm-hmm. uh, i'm talking about the girl child mm-hmm. mostly yeah, yeah, yeah. uh you know there are people who are out there and maybe they're like they feel mm-hmm. when when they get someone mm-hmm. that person does not last uh longer in a relationship with them and maybe they somehow feel it could be one of the reasons it could be one of the reasons for why maybe the they are, they don't have a long term relationships what do you advise that person okay for me as a woman personally speaking okay i'm not going to say my sex expert mm-hmm. <laughs> okay <laughs> so no just give us number tips. two Since you say you guys have taught these things from childhood number two mm-hmm. i believe in 
you finding yourself as Mm. Knowing when we started this thing, it used to be at a hundred. Okay. Right now it's at sixty. Where mm. did the forty percent go? Mm. So once we know where the forty percent, but this you're not going to do alone. You're going mm. to do it with your man. Your man. Because he has partner. to tell you where he's not. Yeah, going. he will. He will share. But the men who are normally quiet, they don't want to speak out. I don't think by the How time. How do I find myself in? I don't I, think. I, Mm. Alice, by the time we started this relationship, mm. I undressed and we found ourselves on that bed. Mm. There's something new you're going to hide from me, mm. unless you want to kill me. Mm. But if you you claim I'm your woman and I'm your man, mm. whenever I will sense something that is not adding up, I'll mm. be I'll find a way. There's those small tricks. Okay. I can take you for dinner. I can I can dress nicely for you that day. Mm. I can seduce you by sex texting. Mm. There's so many things I can do. So when you come home and you're doing this. I'll find the passwords to what I want to say. If I can't bring it there. Because I know by default, mm. there are some things you can't tell a man that will be killing his ego. Mm. So you have to be smart also how you address this how issue. You address the issue yeah. yeah, it matters. Mm. And if you're open to your partner and your partner is open to you, mm. there are things you can just say, hey, babe, nowadays you no longer kiss me like you do. It used to be a turn on. Nowadays you don't run your face. Yeah. 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 Nowadays you don't. Do. You don't touch you don't me the way touch I want. Me there, or yeah. You touch me there. yeah. So is there a problem with that? Because okay. it's like someone telling you, when I met you, mm. you used to do this, mm. but it but died along the wrong Jerusalem. So can I incorporate it? But I may not bring it like it used to be, but I'll be like an add-on. Oh yes. So uh, anyway, this has been a very good conversation. This has been a very good and interesting. Uh, topic yeah. or conversation with you, Nerea. Thank you. And um, as you're summarizing up, uh, the only last part of it I want to, I want to talk about is food. You, I heard you saying that uh, you guys have good food as compared to us. What makes it so unique? Uganda is the bread basket of East Africa. Mm. Take it or leave it. But they are food. In a summary. <laughs> In a summary. Yeah. For men, I'd like to say do a lot of fruits. Mm. A lot of watermelon, it enhances in um, creating healthy semen. Okay. Do a lot of avocado, it helps increasing your stamina. Okay. Do a lot of uh, sim-sim, granuts, mm. almonds, cashew mm. nuts, mm. it enhances. Mm. Plus, do a lot of water. Another thing I'll say mm. is do a lot of walking. Just do exercises like For men walking. and for women? For women, it's so versatile. Number one, always have what you call a clean, clean, clean. I won't mention it. <laughs> and then number two. <laughs> Always make sure you have a clean, 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 clean. That clean, clean part of it. And okay. then number two, check mm. out for UTIs, check out for yeast, check out for this funny smell I'm having. Mm. Do a lot of yogurt, do a lot of, a lot of cryobic tablets. Mm. Make sure if you feel it's not adding up, go see a gynecologist. At times, these small, small things are the ones that kill the sex drive. Over man. Over man. And even you as a woman, because... I can't do this when I open my whatever's, and this man's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. So, anyway, guys, we can't, uh, I know this topic is so wide, yeah. and maybe we can, from your comments, we can be able to pick it up from, pick there. It up from there, and maybe bring a part two of this. So, it will depend. Interact with us in the comment section, and Please tell do. us, ask any questions, and we'll be able to answer those questions in the next video. Yes, yeah, so one thing for our viewers, uh, I'd like to say we are very open for any correction. We are very open for any information you may have. Because it's not about that Ugandan women are good. There are mm. so many nice Kenyan women who know how to do everything, but something is not adding So up. Kenyan men should stop saying Ugandan women are good. Mm. It kind of kills... You've, ac you've accepted, anyway. <laughs> guys, she has accepted. Anyway, guys, me, I love you. I love you so much. I want to see questions on the comment section. I'm not a sex expert. Okay. No, but okay. it's from the other topic of it that yes. we came with the <laughs> okay. sex part of it. What, what I can say is, well, number one, mm. give us questions. We will answer them. If you have queries, we will see how best to answer them. This is a two-way topic, and we love you so much. Keep on subscribing, liking, and sharing on us. We really love those comments. Much love, Mbagaranyo. Eh, bagalanyo. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please, it has been your host, Alice Emmy, and my guest, Stefan. See you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe and keep it up here with Alice Emmy.